Hi there ladies and gents, Dave Lydia from It Was Fit League and uh, together with that Niche Tech Fit we are presenting you with 21 days of home workouts. We are on uh, day number 9 now and um, yesterday we had a slightly longer workout involving light weights um, and it was an 18 minute MRAP today. Something a little bit different, some more gymnastics and some metabolic conditioning. Um, using gymnastics movement. So we've got for the RX guys, 10 pull-ups or bent over rows. This is gonna be four rounds for time of 10 pull-ups, 10 bench dips, 10 burpee box jump overs, or if you don't have a box, we're gonna do burpee broad jumps. The height 61 for men, 51 for ladies, as a broad jump distance, 1.24 men, one meter for ladies. Time cap, 12 minutes. Scaled, um, will be the following. So if you're slightly less fit, you're gonna scale it down. We're gonna do 10 jumping pull-ups or ring rows or bent over rows, 10 bench dips, seated dips with straight or bent legs, and then depending what you can handle, and then 10 burpee box step overs or broad jumps. Burpee broad jumps, one meters and 0 0.8 meters. Okay, so let's have a look at this workout. So the gymnastics is obviously gonna to lead to some local fatigue. You just want to be careful that you don't go too hard on those gymnastics movements from the start. If you're going out too hard and do, trying to do too many reps at once, uh, you can get stuck with some quite a large amount of local fatigue and you're not going to recover. So well, you have to take a long rest to be able to finish it up. So just make sure uh, that you break up those, those uh, gymnastics, the, the pull-ups and the dips into manageable work sets. You should be able to get through in about three, if you need more than three sets, to so four, three, three, or something like that. If you need more than three sets to get through it, then you most probably gotta drop down to easier level. It's a bit too difficult for you. Okay, try to keep moving on those burpee, box jump overs and burpee broad jumps, it'll get your heart rate going, but you're gonna be able to recover while you're taking your rests on the pull up and pull ups and the, and the dips there, because they're not as metabolically challenging. Um, so let's review these um, movements now. Okay, so not everyone's gonna be able to do pull-ups. So if you've got a bar at home or if you've got anything that you can hang off. So the suggestions would be um, a tree branch, uh, a rafter. Um, this one you obviously can't grip over, but if it didn't have a ceiling, you can grab over a rafter. Anything you can hang off or possibly go to a recline position. So if you had a bar, from a gate or something that you could put your legs through, you could pull your chest to the bar and back down. Chest to the bar to do sort of uh, bar rows. Otherwise, if you've got a set of rings or a uh, TRX at home, you can take bands. I mean, not bands, you can take it, and you'd obviously be able to do ring rows. So I can't pull on this too hard, this row is gonna flip, but you could, from here, with your feet reclined back, put your chest to the rings, and lower it back down again. Obviously both feet are forward. I'm just doing this so I don't tipple this rower. Pull your chest to the rings, keeping everything in neutral and my body straight and back down. The more I walk my feet forward, the more challenging that's gonna be. Otherwise, a lot of you won't have those items. So then you'll just take a towel. Should I get a towel here? You'll take a towel and you would then put this towel over an object. You can even hang it off the side of a door. Uh, a door, if it's a strong enough door, don't break your door. So you can hang a towel like this over an object, be it a branch or um, a rafter or something like that, and then you could do pull-ups here. Okay, I'm just gonna go out a shot if I go any further, but you could do pull-ups. It's quite extensive test of your grip. So just gripping, then down. Now, Obviously normal pull-ups would be quite challenging doing them like that, so you can do jumping pull-ups as well. So jumping pull-up, when I have my feet together, my hand overhead, I'm gonna set the grip midway between my wrist and my elbow. So I'm gonna set the grip there at that height, and then I'm gonna do a jumping pull-up. So when I do it, I'll set my grip there, mid form, and from here I can jump, bring my chin over, my hands. Jump, bring my chin over my hands. Okay, so those are some options to do for pull-ups. Remember, when you're doing this, unless you know how to kip, you're going to keep your toes in front, ribs down. So you're going to squeeze your glutes really tight, okay? Pull your ribs down, 
breathe out, tense this stomach and brace, and you can breathe into this area, this is what we call like a steel tank or tank here, and then you're going to do your pull-ups, either underhand grip, mixed grip or overhand grip, doesn't matter, from that position. If you're not a kip and swing, that's fine, you can do kipping, but otherwise stick with strict, otherwise ring rows or a jumping pull-up with um, a towel or on a branch or something to that effect. If you don't have that, we did do, on day number six, we did, um, we did uh, bent over rows, so go review them there, just a quick breakdown. We're going to do a deadlift like we did yesterday, gripping each side of the implement, bring it to your knees from here, we are rowing. One, two, three, okay. You can use a barbell, you can use a rucksack like this, you can use uh, a dumbbell, uh, whatever implement you've got. Again, should be able to get through in two to three sets. So make sure that you're going heavy enough on the bent over rows. Okay, then going on to the dips, um, I suggest using two chairs to start for the beginners. Okay, oh, that's a bad chair. I don't want to use that one. Make sure your chair is nice and stable. Okay, so if you've got two chairs, you can do it for straight one chair, but it's a bit, you can get better positioning by getting your hips in line with the hands by using two. So from here, on the scale version, you can do dips with your knees bent at 90 degrees. My hips are in line with my hands. My hands are close to the edge of the seat, and I'm going to go down. My top of my shoulders are just below my elbow joint, and I'm going to press up. Okay, same thing again. Go down and back up, using my legs to assist. A little bit harder, straight legs, same thing, there and up, top of my shoulder below, the top of my elbow joint, and up, pointing my elbow puts forward, okay, not like this, not turned in, forward, once I get to the top, hips in on my hands, getting nice and tall, ribs down, okay, if you can handle that, the RX guys are going to go, and if you have got this, okay, so if you don't have this, you could put a weighted implement on your lap just to make it a bit heavier for your dips with your legs straight, okay? But if you don't have that and you've got two boxes at home or two tables that you can put side by side, you could do sort of a modified dip. So I've got two boxes here, okay? Wide enough to take my hips. I'm going to set them up side by side. And from here, I'm going to go from, I obviously won't be able to keep my legs straight, like at a gym, but I can bend my knees, I can either keep them just on the ground if I need a little bit of assistance, keep my hips in line with my hands, okay, going down to this position, pressing up. If I can take my full body weight, cross my legs, down to the bottom, and up, just staying off the ground. Might just touch the ground at the bottom. That's fine, we'll have to make do. But if you can get something high enough like this, that'll be great. I can also put something on top, maybe some books, just make sure they're stable. If, you, if you're a bit taller and you need a bit more height. Okay, bench dips. When I'm going back, going to this position, top of my elbow, above my shoulder, pressing out, good mechanics, like you do on pushing up. Push-ups, don't flare the elbows. Screw your hands into the ground, drive these elbow pits forward. Head in neutral, okay, that's going to be the position that we're going to focus on. Okay, so that's for your dips. Then we've got burpee, box jump overs, depending on your space, um, you might want to set it up that you do your burpee next to your box and then face your box. I'm going to just do it side by side now. Uh, I'm also a bit limited for space here. So, burpee. We have bur done burpees here before. Okay, feet at hip width, squat, lean forward, touch my hands on the ground, step back, step back, lie flat, thighs, knees, thighs, hips, uh, chest touches the ground, screen hands into the ground like I do with a push up. I'm going to start coming up. I can snake a bit onto my knees, lift my knees, step, step, and then I'm going to do a step over. Okay, on the step over, okay, it'll be 51 centimeters, okay, I'm going to 
hold my knee out, make sure that my knee doesn't track in, I'm going to drive off this back leg, front of this knee shouldn't go past my toes, keep my hips level, okay, drive off, step up, and over, make sure you keep straight, you don't roll your ankle when you twist over, so I wouldn't twist soon, okay, I wouldn't turn and get off like this, I'll just keep straight for now, burpee, step, and then I'm going to repeat on the side, turn around, burpee, step over. For those of you that are jumping, I didn't stipulate you must be facing the box, but men would be this way around, ladies would be this way, okay, you do your burpee, get up, jump, land in a squat position, semi or quarter squat position, the feet in the squat position, step over. Okay, so think of good squat mechanics, landing with those knees out, and um, there, knees out, okay, good braced position. Okay, use the arms, watch you don't hit your fingers on the box, and um, yeah, try to keep moving, I would step on the burpees, you don't have to jump up, you can just step up, that'll give you the, the quickest pace, okay, um, for the level, for this level. Um, okay, so that's your burpees. If you can't burpee, box jump, you're going to burpee broad jump. Okay, you're going to measure out 1.24 meters. Okay, with, put a marker and a marker. You're going to do your burpee. Behind the marker, same thing. Step back, step forward, or jump. Get up. So I'm going to go there. Okay, behind the marker, jump, use my arms. Land again in a squat position, slightly wider than my jumping position. So I'm jumping under my hips, feet under my hips for the jump, landing feet close to shoulders. Make sure you get the full distance, turn around. Second burpee. Okay. And that will be the same as for the RX. Go just go check your distances to make sure you're jumping the right distance. Okay. Okay, so for the warm-up today, we're gonna do five minutes of brisk walking into jogging or running. Usual with the shoulder cir the shoulders, circles, go review positioning, gone through that extensively in the past few days. Okay, backwards, forwards, 10 to 15, open close, 10 to 15, diagonal, 10 to 15. On your back, lying flat, kicking left and right, loosening up that back, 10 to 15, um, actually 20, I normally say, and then scorpion kicks over the back. So lying on my belly, please go review those if you haven't seen them yet. You should have done them already because you should be going from day one through to day eight, this being day nine now. Okay, then in the warm-up we're gonna do, we're gonna do three rounds of five to ten ring rows. So if you've got ring rows, you can do ring rows. If you don't have ring rows, you're going to do a light bent over row. Okay, then you're going to do five to ten push-ups kneeling. Our kneeling push-ups that we've been doing, you guys know the positioning. Go review from previous days, day one, we started with this. Okay, and then the next movement is a burpee into a small broad jump. So burpee, get up, small broad jump. Okay, we're going to do three of those. The second round, same movements, but you're upping the level. So from ring rows, you're going to go do a jumping pull-up. So for jumping pull-up, whoop, okay. Use arms more, obviously I'm not pulling here because of the rower. Uh, heavier, so more weights in your bag, go a bit heavier for the bent over rows if you're not doing a pull-up or a ring row. Push-ups, we're going to go off our toes now. I mean, sorry, we're going to go to our bench dips. So get your two chairs and you're going to go bent legged or straight legged bench dips, okay. And then we're going to go to burpee, broad jumps, jumping a little bit further. Third round, if you're doing pull-ups, do about five pull-ups or go to the weight you're going to use for bent over rows. Do um, five bench dips, whatever you're going to do. So if it's with knees bent or straight legs on the chairs, otherwise on the benches, you can go to the benches and do five of them. And then you're going to do your burpee broad jump or your burpee box jump of the correct height or the correct distance. Then you're going to be ready to hit that workout and enjoy it. After that, stretches. Okay, we're going to run through them. We're going to do our cross-legged stretch first. Okay, I've been 
Doing these all in detail, toes up, etc. Pulling back, keep the back flat. Knee to opposite shoulder. Okay, 30 seconds times two each. Pulling my toes back. Okay, straight leg raise. Point my toes, pull back, hold. After 30 seconds, do 10 foot pumps each side after straight leg raise. Today we're going to do that uh, thoracic spine stretch. Get your foam roller or pillows. I have reviewed this on day seven. So, so go check out day seven. But you either interlock your fingers, stretch overhead, reach back as far as you can and stretch your arms. Keep your bum down and try and reach as far as you can. Hold them for 30 seconds. If you're not doing that, you can also grab an implement behind you. So I drag this kettlebell here. I'm gonna lift my butt off the ground, lock my arms out, shrug hard, and from here, I'm dropping my butt slowly, 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 it's not stretches. Hold it there when it's, and it's at the edge of being uncomfortable. Hold, 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 30 seconds, lift my butt, let my arms go. Go review the T-spine and lat stretch on day seven. And then we're just doing arm at the wall stretch for the anterior shoulder and chest, turning away, other side, turning away, stretching, and then we're going calf stretch against the wall, like we've been doing straight leg, getting my leg, closing this angle between the floor and my knee. Okay. So, enjoy the workout, ladies and gents. Um, we're almost at day 10. That's tomorrow, which is uh, um, almost halfway. So, nearly halfway through the series. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Remember, go follow us, follow us at Always Fit League and at Nutritech Fit. God bless. Be safe.